Bro, this makes no sense. Every single one of your shorts about Exafiant besides one has you talking about the game and then comparing it to COD. Comparing leveling up the guns to COD, developers and ex-COD developer, movement feeling clunky to other people because it isn't COD, saying they should add killstreak specialists from NW3 and a few more. I really don't like Exafiant or the recent CODs, but your take makes no sense when you legit be comparing this game to COD in every scenario. Damn chat, am I a hypocrite? What's going on guys? It's Condor, back with another video. If you're enjoying Exafiant, if you like talking about random shit, well hit that sub button because that's what we do here. But today, I want to talk about this if you guys don't watch my last video or see the short that i posted from that last video the longer video i basically was talking about how cod or i think cod has us fried notice i said us meaning i'm including myself in that so this guy comes along and basically says that my take makes no sense because you know every video you're talking about like comparing to cod i was like never did i once say that you can't compare the two x defiant is heavily inspired from call of duty especially the classic call of duty titles i'm not ignorant toward that the reason why we love x defiant so much because it feels like the old cods i never said we can't compare the two and if anything a lot of the marketing or approach that the developers are taking with X Defiant, they're literally taking the complaints that we have had from about Call of Duty over the past few years and using it as a foundation to build their own game, to build X Defiant out. I'm not saying you, can, you can't compare them. And I'm not saying you can't like one, certain things about one or the other. You can't critique either one. Honestly, I'm not even saying that you can't want something that's in COD and X Defiant or vice versa. I never said any of that. The point of my video of me saying that COD has us fried and we got to stop thinking that for some people have to stop thinking that X Defiant has to be like Call of Duty. My whole point behind that was I feel like there's probably certain things that are in COD that we feel that X Defiant needs that are probably not necessary and the game could just kind of just not even do any of that. Game already plays differently than COD. That was my point. That was really my only point with that. Now in this guy's defense, could I have done a better job explaining it? Yes, I definitely could. I even felt that way when I was making a video. And also in his defense, that was uh, under 60 seconds from a clip of a much longer video that he probably didn't watch that I elaborated a bit more. But even then, I still feel like I could have explained it better. Oh, the clip you guys just saw was actually from a video I recorded before for my Black Ops 6 video that went out that I ended up scrapping the last half of it. Because I wanted to talk about what I meant by saying COD was fried, right? Uh, and I comment and address that guy. Because I feel like that was a good topic to talk about and I honestly didn't feel like I did a good job explaining myself. But in that same video, I also wanted to talk about my feedback with Xdefiant. You know, I've been kind of glazing. Your boy been glazing. I've been an Xdefiant glazing, uh, glazer. I could admit, I love this game. I don't have many problems with it. But I was, you know, I wanted to get my feedback, you know, my criticism. So. That's what I uh, try, I did for that whole second half of that other video. But I ended up scrapping it because the day after I recorded that video, I, have, I didn't edit the video yet. And I figured I'd get the Black Ops 6 video out first since that was more, I guess, I guess the better news or the more, I don't know, news that people want to hear more about, I guess, would be Black Ops 6. So I said, oh, I'm gonna edit that video first, even though I recorded it second. So while I got that video out, so the day after I recorded that video, the very next day, the Ubisoft Forward event came out and they aired the X Defiant Season 1 trailer. And then the patch came out right after that. I think the next day with the movement penalty and the sniper nerf and all that stuff. I'm like, you know what? What's the, why am I going to, I'm not going to post that video. Talk about like my criticisms, but some of it I'll get back to in this game. But when some of it was kind of like addressed already, but I'll have people in the comments saying, oh, bro, but in Season 1, they're going to do this. Oh, that patch fixed this. So I'm like, you know, I'm not uploading that video. I'll just talk about Season 1 and this one. It's going to be based around Rainbow Six Siege. I think the name of the faction is GSK. Um, motherfuckers keep taking my kills, bro. Damn. The faction is GSK. And the whole, I guess the whole season is going to be based around Rainbow Six Siege. They're also adding a Rainbow Six map on the map Clubhouse. Which I didn't realize it was actually from Rainbow Six until I watched that video. And he pointed that out. Your boy don't know shit about Rainbow Six, to be 100% honest with you. I feel like my brain does not have enough grooves and bumps on it to understand that game. Too complex for me. My old 26 years of age. Damn, bro, where yo shot at? Condor, the fuck? But yeah, so we got a new map from Rainbow Six. New faction, GSK. We're getting three weapons. Three new weapons. One I'm happy about. One I'm indifferent about. Actually, one I'm ecstatic about, one I'm indifferent toward, and one that I'm just not happy about at all. Let's go down the list, shall we? So the one I'm not looking forward to is the Riot Shield. This Riot Shield has a fucking uh, flashbang attached to the front of it or something. I'm not vibing with that. I already can't stand the, the riot shield that you can run around with within the, I think it's the Phantom Faction, right? Uh, the one I'm using right now, but not, I'm not using the riot shield. They're adding another riot shield. I'm like, this might be insufferable. That might be insufferable, gang. Just having two different riot shields in this game seems so obnoxious, in my opinion. Then the other weapon is the uh, sort of shotgun. And like I said, I'm in different charges because shotguns honestly aren't that great in this game anyway. They don't piss me off or anything. So I'm not really complaining about it. But the one I'm most excited about is the L15, the L L11, the L115, whatever you want to call it. Because that is my favorite sniper rifle ever. In any game, Call of Duty, like that that's my baby right there, bro. I love that gun. Yeah, I'm getting that same, same sniper rifle tatted on my arm one of these days. That and the L96 are like my favorites. So 
So, look, like, speaking of riot shields, she, she, like, I don't even... Bro, I, I just... Uh, I just... Oh my... Can you EMP that? You might be able to EMP that. Probably would've killed me before that anyway. Yeah, so L115, I'm excited for that. Really excited to, for them to add that sniper rifle to the game. And the same thing with Black Ops 6, they're, add, they're adding the L96 in the game, so I'm just, bro, I'm just hyped, bro. I just get to run around with my two favorite sniper rifles, both Black Ops 6 and X Defiant. That's lit. I was thinking too, like after uh, I get the, all these guns gold, which I don't know how long it's gonna take me to be honest. I don't get to play as much as much some other people, but I think after I get most of these guns gold, I'm just trying to snipe a lot in this game. Maybe start dropping sniper montages, man, because I'm, I'm a big sniper. And I'm gonna get into the sniper nerf, flinch nerf, or whatever you wanna call it, which I personally think did nothing in this update, or not noticeable enough as someone who loves sniping. But we'll get to that in a second. So new weapons, new game mode, they're adding CTF. I think C CTF will play like really, really awesome in this game. So I'm happy it's getting added. Now SND, I heard is coming. I heard Mark Rubin tweet that they're they're pushing up the, um, the, re the release date on uh, SND. They didn't give a specific date. I don't know if that actually means it's coming in season one. I just know he's trying to expedite it because there's like a demand for it. There's a big demand for it. He sees people want SD in the game. I'm excited for Search and Destroy 2 to be in the game. And some of my comments a while back also said, like, you know, I feel like all the game modes are kind of the same. They all feel like you got captured some point. Like, all the game modes kind of felt feel similar, the same. You got Domination, Occupy, which is like a hard point, the zone control. And it's kind of like all about like holding a point, even escort to an extent. So it's good that they're adding CTF and SD, some variety. And I think TDM is coming as well. I don't know when it's coming. I don't know if they said it's coming in, in uh, season one, but all I know is CTF is definitely coming. I'm wondering what it, what games are going to, or what game modes are going to be added and ranked because in my opinion i don't think i want to see uh 4v4 escort or zone control i don't know i think because the linear maps i feel like they're kind of too big for 4v4 i haven't watched as many h as i should of people playing competitively and ranks obviously not out yet i don't know if that's going to be like that entertaining to watch I don't know how entertaining 4v4 escort or zone control is gonna, would be to watch or to even play i just feel like it'll be like a lot of running to the objective but that's just my opinion so i i mean i would like to see just Search, Occupy, and Bomb or SD as part of like the rotation. I I'm an escort hater. I don't like escort in any game, to be honest. Maybe because I'm not an Overwatch guy. I'm curious what 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 game modes are actually going to end up being the ranked or competitive game modes, like the official ones, or if ranked, they're just going to dump them all in there. CTF, Zone Control, Domination, every game mode on there except TDM. I wonder how how they're going to go about that. But I'm glad we're getting new game modes added. Ranked and competitive game modes aside, just the game modes in general, I like that we're adding some variety in there with S and D and Capture the Flag. Hey, we play an arena again. Um, I, this this, part, this might be the best map, bro. This might be the best map in the game. I ain't gonna lie. So quick summary: Season one's about Rainbow Six Siege. We're getting three weapons. We're getting a new map. Oh, and besides the Rainbow Six map, we're also getting a new map every month. And I saw this map in a leak originally, bro. And now that it's official, like it, it, it just looks so colorful and vibrant. Like, I love it. And the maps right now, I still like basically all the maps the only map i don't like is meltdown maybe because it's one of those linear maps i mainly played on zone control and uh escort i think it is considered a linear map right but i just don't like that map that's my least favorite map in the game so let's talk about this patch like i said i was gonna address it with the snipers actually before we get the snipers first so the thing they added was a movement penalty so like you aim down the site and you start jumping more than three times your aim starts going in like an infinity type movement I guess that looks a little trippy to be honest now i don't sp i wasn't spamming like jumping so much so i'll be honest with you it didn't bother me i think it's a w nerf so people can't spam it people who just jumping around for no reason and calling it movement they can't do that anymore can't spam jump and think you're good <laughs> And I've noticed the lobbies have been significantly less, I guess, sweatier, or maybe less people jumping as much. And I think the net code is fixed a little bit too, because I don't really notice myself dying around corners as much as I was before. So uh, the movement penalty was a W, in my opinion. And the other thing was the sniper nerf. Now, guys, I love sniping. I'm a big sniper. Call of Duty gave me my love for sniping for real back in the day. Call of Duty also took it away in the newer games because I just don't, I did not enjoy sniping until I, I kind of like it in, w, in this on W3. So your boy is rusty when it comes to sniping. But I'm a big sniper. But even I, right, was calling for these snipers to be nerfed. Because I ego child sniper, get first shot on them. Even if you got first shot on them, you're fucking dead if you see that light, bro. It did not matter. So even I was saying, yo, they need flinch, they need something. So they added the flinch, and I'll be honest with you, I don't notice it. <laughs> I pulled out a sniper and was running around with a little bit, and it doesn't really do much i didn't really notice a huge difference a uh, huge difference i think a little less people are sniping now because of it but i don't know in my opinion if if you're a solid sniper this shit really didn't do much maybe i gotta play a bit more to see how noticeable it is i was playing with nezzo like a couple weeks back before the nerf and he was saying that the sniper probably needs something more than just some flinch like at first i really didn't know if that was true or not in my opinion or if i thought that they need something more but now after this patch i see what he's talking about because they need a little something else nerf wise i feel like or something i don't want them to nerf snipers to the ground when they're not even viable and not fun to use either 
but I, I didn't notice the difference. But at the end of the day, it's not gonna bother me too much if they don't do much about the snipers. I'm biased because I'm a sniper, but at the same time, I do agree they had to be nerfed. I don't think they were nerfed enough to make a difference. What I want done with that information, I don't know. And the other feedback for me I can think of, besides getting stuck, oh wait, hold up a second. I know a big one. Joining in the middle of games are either in the middle of games or games are, are almost over. Happens to me too much. It's actually really annoying. Happens too much. And I know Mark Rubin said he was gonna add like a penalty or something. First he said penalty and then kind of clarified it being more as a reward for people who stay in the game to incentivize people to stay in game instead of leaving so much. Because I feel like if it's not ranked, you shouldn't be penalized. So that has to be addressed, my biggest thing. The netcode seems better now. I feel like I'm dying less behind walls. I mean, another thing I want to see is better cosmetics. Like, right now, I don't really have any incentive to buy the battle pass. I maxed out the battle pass. I haven't bought I didn't buy it. I didn't see anything in the past that I was like, yo, I really want that shit. Or even in the store, I haven't seen anything that's really sent out to me that makes me want to buy anything. So I haven't really bought anything in Next Divine yet. But I do want to see better cosmetics. I see like this cool skin in the, the Rainbow Six trailer. And I'm sure as the game goes on, we're going to get a lot better of, you know, weapon skins, character skins, or factions and stuff. I know it's coming, but I just want to see better stuff in the store. Because right now, I don't want to buy shit. <laughs> to be honest, I have not given this game any money so far. And let me know how you guys feel about this too. I want to see a weapon inspect. I, I'm a big fan of weapon inspects, bro. Because of the Counter-Strike. I remember when, when I first saw that in CSGO back in the day. I was like, yo, man, I wish COD had it. And then COD added it eventually. Black Ops three i think and they kept it in every game since pretty sure especially if you're gonna add better cosmetics and skins i want to see a weapon inspect and dare i say i want to see some knives am i weird would that be a little crazy especially if you add weapon inspects i want to see a knife in the game too that's just me maybe that's a cs fan of me but anyway guys that's been the video thanks so much for watching hit that sub button if you're not subscribed already um, i'm gonna try to be more punctual about my uploads most of you guys heard about this information already the name of the game is i gotta be more on top of my upload schedule and my recording schedule and my streaming shit i don't know i'm gonna talk about that in another video but let me know what you guys think about the new patch let me know what you guys think about what's coming in season one i'm pretty sure i talked about everything for the most part i'm most excited about probably ctf snd and definitely the l the l15 and ranked obviously that's what i'm most looking forward to hate the riot shield that's coming but yeah let me know your guys thoughts but guys it's been conjure and i will see you in the next video later